Hi folks, um, don't know whether I've got this light in bits, it will become clear. Um, I've used my drill, I've got some Gorilla glue, some my bits, and uh, what I've done is, as you can see I've drilled a hole here and I've slid this LED into the actual light fitting because at the bottom, as you can see, it has that at the moment, but all that is functioning that is a single bulb like that. I'm not happy with that. So, like I say, drilled there, slid it in. As you can see, that is the paper there inside that hole on the back of the LED. And if you come down to this end here, just try and focus it in inside there. I can't really. There, you can just make out the glue and the paper on the back of the LED. Now, once that's dried, I'll, I'll rip that off. Um, but at the moment, it's drying in place. And hopefully, by the magic of uh, computers, I'll show you the second half of my video uh, in a second. Um, I'll speak to you in a bit. Well, again, folks, right, second half of my video. Now, you remember what I did. Um, slid the LEDs along that. And now I'm going to show you the final result, hopefully. Fingers crossed this will work and look better than it did. Sorry, it's my hand shaking. There you go. Now isn't that better than a single bulb? That gives me a perfect set of driving lights. Um, I'm happy with those. Big massive thanks, by the way, to H&A Supplies who supplied the LEDs for the goth thing. Um, you see the indicator there is ready to go on an LED. Really happy with these. Thanks very much. Uh, hope this has helped you a little bit into, you know, a way of modifying these lights. Because uh, I will have these and also those lit up soon. Really happy boy. Okay, take care.